<laughs> well, I see what. You know, it, it, when I listen to your songs, I wonder what goes through your mind when you pick pen to paper if you're writing songs. I mean, this chant right here. You can't tell me that, oh, it's something that exists and, oh, you just mm -hmm. did a cover or you you tried it. I'm very sure it's of your own creation, huh? Yes, please. So why this? Why the chant? Um, first of all, I, I we finished the album and <clears throat> we were looking for a song for the intro and we wanted to use Waison because it means welcome. Um, but I just felt like it's... We just we still needed something stronger um, to to back the man and the god the title, and and then it came it came to me that I I think I want to do something more for chance because our forefathers always used to do that you know they are praying like you know okay. that kind of response thing mm -hmm. and and it's it's more relatable to God and so I used that vibe and then I was like okay. Um, I need to let my people believe that um, the God they are worshipping is also found within themselves because your body is a temple of God. And if you don't see it like that, you always be lied to by somebody who is saying <laughs> they are, you know. And these days, people are really using the name of God for what they want. And it's sad, it's sad that you see our mothers who are working so hard to take care of us and they, they end up believing in others than themselves. Mm -hmm. So I, I I chose this opportunity to use the introduction of the, the album to to f focus on the fact that we are we we also em embody the, the 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 spirit of God. Uh, although it's English, it sounds local. Yeah, it sounds I, local. I, I I was expecting that you chant in a local dialect. Why did you decide to do it just <laughs> in English? <clears throat> I decided to do it in pidgin actually, uh, English and pidgin, right, right. Um, because I feel like it is the new African language. Um, Nigerians, you know, Cameroonians, like everybody, all the African countries are now, and I want the thing to travel too, you know, and I realized that anytime I, do, I use my language, it's good, it sounds good, but the understanding becomes a little bit difficult, and then, and, and I want people to just understand right away from listening to the song, mm. um, and that's why I use Pigeon and English. Mm. And I hope it works. <laughs> but you, you, you are, are you Ga or are you Ewe? I'm Ewe. Oh. But do you speak the language though? I speak like I speak small guy. Small guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I understand everything, but when I'm speaking I'm I'm slow. Yeah. But is that your real name? Yeah, Wallace is my real name. I'm well, Rafael Wallace. Rafael yeah. Wallace. Wallace. Yeah. So Wallace is your surname? No, no Langani is my surname. Langani. Is Langani my, is my surname. That sounds a bit northern. Yeah, it sounds a bit northern, but it's alright, yeah. So you have a, a northern blood in you? Yeah, I think so, maybe. I don't Wait, know. Wait, what what kind of combination with this? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like a Nordner chooses to marry a Volterian. Hey, that'd be wild, though. Wild, though. Wild. Yeah. <laughs> Have you questioned that? Nah, I haven't. Never. Charlie. <laughs> hey, then, what else? you be wild, guy. <laughs> and you get some Northern blood and some Ever blood. <laughs> Nobody crosses your line. <laughs> nah. and, and I hear you are a no nonsense guy. I mean, you are no pushover. Yeah, not, not necessarily that. It's just. I think I have been pushed over ever since I was young, and and I think I just decided not to be pushed over again. You know, any decision I make it has to be by my own. Cause people, people, people will come and they will go. You know, and and you will still be by yourself, and you need to protect your space and protect your spirit. You know, um, it's not like I'm I'm disrespectful, but you, you just have to stand your ground. But how do you prevent that? Um, if if the vibe if the vibe not to be challenged, <laughs> walk away. <laughs> mm. It's as simple as that. You know, there are some people who come with some kind of energy that you are uncomfortable with, and I think you you have to decide and be strong and stand your ground and say no, I don't want this, I want this, or else you choose everything that comes your way. And 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 a man without a belief falls for anything, you know. But why do people say you are disrespectful? People think you are arrogant. Oh, Charlie. I mean, that's the word about Wolasi. Oh, the guy's God. This guy's good, but he's arrogant. Um, I think people always want you to do what they want, and when you don't do it, you are disrespectful. But once you start um, kissing, um, okay, uh, then they f they feel like okay, he's a respectful guy. You know, I believe Shatawale is very respectful. He's a very respectful person. I've met him once, and even though I was younger than him, he was very respectful. 
taught me and and that's how the world is when you choose to do what you want and you choose to um, stick with your beliefs and systems or respect yourself uh, people just don't like it because you are not doing exactly what they want you're not smoking with them you're not drinking with them you're not partying with them you're not doing what they want you to do and therefore you are disrespectful Forgive me, I may be asking too many oh, feel free. questions. No, That's because right. this is my very first encounter mm -hmm. with you on this show. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, I, I think during, during the lockdown, I did a review of your album, which mm -hmm. you you sent voice notes. Mm -hmm. You were not present in here, so um, I, I'm 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 getting as much as I'm getting to know you mm -hmm. are as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, I mean a lot of you you have a lot of followers. I remember when I reviewed the album. I mean the comments, the 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 comments were great. People loved it, and they were even chanting for more. I I, I don't know if you read <laughs> the the, the, yeah, the yeah, yeah. comments that came, yeah, the yeah. tweets, and I mean they everywhere, very very positive comments. Mm. Do these comments make you feel like you're on top of the world, you're on top of the game? No, no, no. There is no game to me. Um, there is there is more room for improvement for me. Um, I don't know which game it is we refer it to because it's not my game. I didn't make the game. And I don't think I want to play a game I don't understand. Um, I want to play a game I understand, which is me. I understand myself. I understand where I'm coming from and where I want to go. And if I have a fan base, I, I cherish and I love them to death uh, because they made me who I am and I made them also who they are. We, It's, uh, it's like an Uber driver and a passenger. The two of us are working together, you know. And... Uh, it never makes me feel on top of the world. It makes me to feel on top of my world. Uh, it makes me feel like, okay, I'm doing well and I need to do better and keep going and, and, and keep impressing myself and my fans, you know. And that's that's basically it. It's just me and my fans and nobody else. When you travel outside the country, how well are you received? I, I'm received so well because um, outside the country, they don't understand what I'm saying. Mm. They only understand the energy. And I feel, I believe that music is about energy too. It's not just lyrics and, you know, melody, it's energy. And and then they love the energy. And so I go with the energy and I, I communicate with them with the energy. So it's the reception is really good. Mm. Yeah. But, but why didn't you choose any other genre? I mean, the, the, mm -hmm. you, uh, you, you, you roll a lot with a lot of rappers. Mm -hmm. I mean, manifest is like your your mm. like your group member. <laughs> <laughs> you know, no, I mean, we we've yeah. seen you and him yeah. on several songs, yeah. and most of the rappers feature you, mm -hmm. but you are not mostly rapping in your songs. Yeah, you are I'm rap singing. more or less a singing. Yeah, exactly. rap singing. Yeah, you know, why did you choose that path? Um, I started. I started. Doing, I'm asking. So, sorry yeah. to catch you in. I'm asking because I remember hearing manifest. I think I spoke with him, and mentioning one mentioning his top rappers and he mentioned you and i was like ah are you crazy <laughs> well as he said hey andy don't listen okay we're on air so i, I can't i can't mention it I, the, the right way to say look that guy yo hey well i can rap eh? i'm talking about dope dope rapper me yo well i a crazy rapper so why why don't you uh, put that out but you're like a rap singing um I started music. I started music by rapping. Actually, I okay. started rapping, and and when I started doing the music itself, I I was introduced to singing, and I I liked it. And also, I think um, the rap is something that is meant for people to people who understand rap and love rap and want to listen and and carefully, you know, um, break down the the verses and all that, and. Um, I I felt it's it's easier when people it's easier for people to listen to you when you're singing, and therefore I try to fuse both. But when it comes to features like features on ELs and bar, I'm always rapping. So mm. if you listen to ELs bar tapes, I'm always giving rap verses. Um, and and could you cues Wole, you know, I'm giving rap verses. Um, <clears throat> But when it comes to my my music, I I choose to sing more than than rap. Ah, uh, you uh, throw the rap to them and you sing on your songs. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not that. It's just it's just that I feel like the singing is more. It has more emotions, that sort of, to me. Um, from my from my angle, um, and then the rap is something that when you when you do, people hardly listen to, especially in GH. 
Um, but if you're saying some, because the kind of things I'll sp- I'll talk about when I'm rapping, people might not even want to <laughs> to listen. Um, and in rap in Ghana, you have to be a little bit funny. You mm-hmm. have to be you have to be speaking, you know, a, lo- a lot of the key language, you know, and it makes it travel further. And my motive is to travel and make the song heard by a lot of people. Mm. Yeah. Folks, so what? <laughs> yeah, I think it's the last verse on this. Yeah, I'm trying to get it. I'm gonna get it, yeah. <laughs> folks. Oh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> was that you? No, that was a uh, cereal. Cereal, okay. Yeah. Uh, I think the second verse. Eh? Yeah, the second. No, that was the second verse. verse. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hold on, hold on. Uh, okay, I got it. Floor, you can only soak this floor. See, I'm always stuck out here in your ears and back out here. If you know it, about this floor, hit me up. No poking egg. I made my mind, you lost your mind, but you roll me looking for mine. Thank you, boss, but I know what I want. Me, I do what you feel. Nothing wrong, but know your place and go your pace. Me, there, nobody start the race. I made my own path and then I made my own pack and then I validate this. Me, I had this smell. Yes, they feed me so feed me, feed me, feed me, feed me. Uh. But Bona, you know, lady, my Bona guy, you know, lady. But Tanya, bomb you do, I, you know, your shit, and so do I. I made it clear, straightforward, never borrow the rule. I trick or treat and trick you. Where you take the treat, you took the base, you lost your faith, and now you hope I lose my faith too. Mm. I took a shot, I finished, they're not few crop. They hoping that some way while I go few flop. Oh, but go the money, so I'm a mistake. Hey. No, but on the real, you are, ta- you are super talent. You are Charlie. super talent. Charlie, try, man. Yo! Charlie, try. <laughs> Quiet. <laughs> Bad, bad, bad boy, bad, 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 bad boy. I mean, I listen to you, I'm like, yo, bad this guy, bad boy. <laughs> bad, 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 bad. bad. <laughs> but I listen to you, and then listen, love you, die, sir. Yeah, the bass you give, you give some, 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 some bad. Yeah. <laughs> small, small. Yeah, it's you know, small. No, I listen to you guys, and you know, I try to bite him. One, one. <laughs> it's very all biting. Yeah, you yeah, 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 bite. yeah, but who doesn't? Bite? Yo, who doesn't bite? Oh, Charlie, <laughs> Recently, I was bite. watching a documentary on, on YouTube, and they were showing rappers. Who've bitten other rappers <laughs> and then Jay Z appeared about a hundred times. I'm like, yeah, yeah. 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 They make sure they poke into it. Yeah, too, everybody, say. everybody. It'll be small. Yeah. Right, so uh your 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 songs. Oh man, my my favorite, my <laughs> <laughs> I mean my of my course. yeah man, my, my favorite uh collaboration yeah. with, with money. Yeah. I remember when you put out um okay, okay, okay. okay yeah. And there was an argument, oh okay, between hundred percent people were saying okay, bad song, bad, bad song. Bad, bad, but why bad. is it that he's featuring you on almost all his his <laughs> great songs? Man, well, yeah. Why? Oh, but he has a lot of great songs with other people. I yeah, think yeah, yeah. I think one of his I think um last year one of his best features was the one with Crim Promise, I think. Yeah, yeah my yeah. favorite. But yeah. That's, yeah. that's my favorite that's, money that's, song. That's, that's, that's one of my favorite dope, features. Dope, dope, yeah. Dope. Um, so, Minewa. Yeah, Minewa is one of my greatest. I think it's one of my greatest features from even Crim Promise. Mm. It's amazing. Um, mm. So I think it's not just me, but it's just that we vibe, we vibe, we vibe well. So it's easier when we are, when we are creating. Mm. And that's why most of the time we have a lot of songs together, actually. Um, mm. A lot of songs together. So, yeah. but, um, no, wait. Before I forget this. Sometimes you, I don't know whether they are chance or it's another style, you've decided to be unique on that. Mm. Sometimes you repeat lines. Yeah. You can repeat it for about 16 bars. You keep repeating it. Yeah. You, you can repeat it. I remember yeah. when you went to the, you know, I've been following you for yeah. A, yeah. a long time. You went to the Coke Studios. Yeah. You you sang one line. Uh, I'm like, ah. Is it because is it something he wants to uniquely do, or it's something I don't know whether he forgets his lines or I, mean, I how why do you do that? Um, um, so there's something there's something we call call and response. I believe you know, mm, you know yeah. that. and it's something that has been happening in our, our music for mm. a very long time, even in our traditional music. Um, you say something and we respond with one word, and it's the same thing. And even uh, when you when you go when you go into Hail Mary. Um, when you're reciting the Hail Mary, mm. you re- you realize that the response is the same thing, and it, and it's, it goes it goes like several on several occasions. Mm. Um, I think I think uh, chanting and repetition is part of music. Mm. Uh, the same way we have one bar, two bar, four bars, and you repeat the same um, uh, how do you call it? You rhyme with the same word or something, and mm. and I just I just prefer doing that, you know, um, because it it has a it has a feel of a prayer or has a feel of uh, 
uh, a chant, you know, and it has a vibe, and that's and that's why I choose it. Yeah. Your style is unique. Have yeah. you had naysayers? Yeah. Um, naysayers. Yes. Yes. A lot of a lot of them because no go work. Yeah. No yeah, go yeah, work. Yeah, no go work. They're like, oh nah, this thing. Yeah, you no go work. If I stop, like you just change them, do what everybody they do. You know, find some. Um, uh, Nigerian beat, okay. beat, then 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 do something, then you know. And when Azonto came to, like I was I was I was pressured. Everybody was giving me pressure, like do some, do some, do some, do some. That thing come, do some. You go feed do am, you go feed do hook. Why you know they do am like do am, and I'm, I'm like I, I don't know, man. It's just that sometimes some things are also not for you, you know. Mm. Yeah, and you have um, developed a style for a very long time, and you just you don't want to tarnish that image or that um, hard work with something you don't really understand. Uh, people who are doing what they are doing they, is because they understand it. You understand? And and if I don't understand it, I don't venture. I have to study it and, and, and understand it properly before I venture. But do you have issues with your music? People accepting you? Oh, all the time. Like, people are accepting me every time. New people, new fans every day. People are every day Twitter. I open my Twitter. Like, and somehow my Twitter is way better than other <laughs> other places because I think it's because of, of words. Maybe I'm, I'm better with words than because Twitter people listen a lot. Um, Instagram people watch uh, a lot. And and so I think I, every day, every now and then, I'm getting fans and and the the age range is amazing from 70 years 75 years 60 years 50 years oh, to, yeah? to young people 18 and and i and i really and i'm really impressed about um where i've come so far yeah but the people who criticize you what do they mostly say um i understand their pain um it's it's like they've been following you for so long and then they want you to be like all the people who have uh, in quotes, blown, blown up, uh -huh. and then they they want you to also do the same thing, but they don't understand that those that they think have blown are not blowing just because <laughs> of the song. There is money behind it. There's a huge network behind mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. There are big people behind it. They have DJs in their pockets. Um, you know, things are going well. And and if I if I reach that that stage, trust me, I'll also do the same. And you know, sort people, and you know, have been a better network or a bigger network. But unfortunately, my marketing strategies are not as huge as that because I'm an individual. I'm not working with a team or with a, a record label, and 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 that's what they don't understand. So I understand their pain. Um, but as time goes on, it might change from indie to a, a collaborative. Do, do you, do you think that the media has been very fair to you? Oh, yes. I feel that indie, I'm here. You are, I'm, I'm on Andy Dusty show. Like, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the biggest shows in Ghana and probably West Africa. So I think the media has been very good to me. Uh, the musicians too have been great to me um, from Manifest, Efia, um, EL. Everybody is pushing me like a damn. Like, everybody's like been supportive. From comedians like everybody, Quidditch Sheldon, comedian Yaris, like everybody is supporting me. So like I think it's good. It's just that Charlie, like I said, it's about network and money. And the bigger the the push, the bigger the impact. I see. Hmm. Let's get to the man and God. Well, we all know what Foko means. Sir. I don't need you to get yourself in any trouble this morning. <laughs> hey, guys, when I've seen your tweets, keep them coming. Let me cut it short because they will soon send us messages that hey y'all. Your video was, you used somebody's intellectual property and then, then, then. Imagine playing my own song and then they sent you a message. Like, do you guys know how this song got here? This is my song. <laughs> wow. So, w when you are recording these songs, I'm sure it takes a lot of cash. Yeah. You're working with a lot of live yeah. instruments and musicians. Yeah. yeah. Um, Senku is very expensive, just so you know. Um, the, and then the studio we What is Senku? Senku is the live band. The live band, I, yeah, okay. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the band, not my band. Is it your cap? Okay. No, it's, 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 it's a, they are artists by themselves. They, pro, they produce albums and all that. Uh, so we just came together and to collaborate on this album. Um, they they are quite expensive, but because we wanted to do this, and uh, we felt like we wanted to tap into the OCB side and the OG mm. vibe, um, we, we it was a collaboration. But of course, we still had to do some um, down payments and all that. And yeah. so it was quite expensive. And like I said, if you're an individual and you're doing all this by yourself and because you're trying to uh, paint a different picture of, of the music scene and, and, and give other journeys for people to also follow because it's, it becomes watery when you are listening to the same thing all every day, every now and then, you know. And it's, it's, it's not easy to create something different. So I will say it's very expensive, 
and <laughs> maybe very book, booking the studio book the studio and and takes hours to perfect it you know because we have to rehearse the instrumentation severally you know and when we're about to record to we take about three or four takes you know because maybe for somebody to make a mistake just gets into the end of the song mm-hmm. and we have to take everything again you know so and it takes a lot of uh, studio time and the one hour is like 250 i think that was then so it's like it's a lot of money actually it's a lot of money but we know we, we know we made we made a we made a good, a good how do you fund them since you're saying well cash <laughs> you don't have you don't have enough I and mean, i agree a lot of the so-called blown musicians are also complaining. Mm. Everyone seems to be complaining, although they show off yeah, a yeah. lot on. Showing off the Yeah, yeah, but every, every, yes, that's yeah, that's the yeah, show of, of the business, <laughs> you know. Uh-huh. Yes, but but we all know that it's not that. It's not that uh, flourishing. Flourishing, you know? yes, exactly. So, how do you fund it? Um, I am an artist by profession too. People don't know. Um, I schooled in TTU. And What's I paint TTU, TTU Takrade Technical oh. University, and I I did painting fine art. Uh, so if I go for drawing right now, say yeah, not, yeah, sharp, sharp. Um, so I do I do portraiture sometimes. I have I've had clients I, after school after tertiary. I've had a lot of clients, and sometimes I use my art to um, um, support my music. Sometimes also to now I know why <laughs> sometimes no, because yeah. it reflects in your in your your singing. Mm. You know, some imaginary stuff. stuff yeah, 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 yeah. Also, to um, my manager helps. Uh, Malco helps once in a while. Um, sometimes too, I borrow money, <laughs> and then I to. and then I pay back after I make the money. Also, to after after I left my first team, Supreme Rights, um, I that was like three four years ago. I started learning how to upload your songs by yourself, finding distributors online. And I found a distributor, and um, that was, I think, is a, it's like a, it's, it's called DistroKid, where you Distro can put, you can put yeah. your songs on, and 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 ever since I did that, it's also been paying me some good cash every month. Um, so I use, I save some of that too, and I put it back into the into the music. So I have a studio at home now, um, a standard studio at home that, which is not commercial, it's just for me. Mm. Um, but I think I'll start making a commercial to make some dough. So yeah. you learn how to produce it all by yourself? Yeah, I, I produce myself. I produced my first album actually myself. Um, but as time went on, I wanted to work with other people, learn from other people, and that's why I started working with live mm. bands and, and all that. Mm. Yeah. But you do festivals? Yeah, I do. I do festivals. Um, every year I have a festival called Walla Fest. Um, this the third one was last year. Oh, I remember well. <laughs> yeah, um, and this year you are going to do the same thing, but instead of December seventh, is November seventh this time because of the elections. Um, so we are we are doing it at Alliance seventh November, and I hope you guys don't miss it. Seventh November. Seventh November. Yeah. Uh, come partner, it's a film. Let's see our best. Oh, film. please. Uh, we will talk to you right after the interview. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. We we support great talents. Thank you so much. Mm. Thank you so much. Thank mm. you so much, Andy. And it will be a pleasure working with you. Thank you. My pleasure too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me read some some comments. Uh, at one NASA says, Andy, please let Wallace do wake up for us. <laughs> DJ underscore Theo's he says. And blah, and you just tell a lassie that you saw me be my I heard that song too. You saw me, <laughs> this guy, you saw me be my all time favorite match. Like, eh, no, uh, that be the song. No, you go like, so big up all Malaysia boys inside community too. Papa Kwasiro, he says, Andy, I remember meeting with Lassie at the Charlie Water Festival either last year or two, and guy looked so simple and gentle in his casual way, deliberately looked anonymous and unnoticed. He looked shy, but I know he isn't. He's an impeccable act. J. Eve Evergreen says, Mr. Andy, good morning. Well, as he's full of vibe, he's very, very good. I think his team should push his craft more because his talent is incredible. I always troll him on Twitter for not getting there or blowing light up at in Ghana. <laughs> and I heard him. Kojo underscore Eugene says, Good morning, boss. Well, as his songs are like on some different level and unique. It connects to you deep. It connects to you deeply. Still listening to his news album, and cut album and outer lane EP. They are timeless. Waska. Waska. So about the trolls, how do you handle them? Um, like I said, it's, it's perception. It's you are living in your world and you think that this is this. So do you, you reply them? No, I don't. Sometimes, At all. sometimes I give them like positive response. You know, I understand your pain. You know. And you should work with you should work on it because um some people are also going through things in their lives 
and then the only way they can channel it is bashing people because it's the best way to you know you can't be punching walls like white people so mm -hmm. they they just want to channel it to th trolling you and all that and i understand their pain but it's i think we need to heal ourselves instead of you know bashing ourselves mm. yeah. a junior toothpick says well and the eyes just started listening to Wallace not long ago i love his nukata song it's really a masterpiece she comments says personally i hardly listen to his songs but watching and listening to him now and i'm sh i'm short short of words great champ with real talent is another version of manifest kind of should pay attention to him Live News GA says, and they ask Wallace the meaning of Amber Kaske Samana. <laughs> my favorite on the album is We All Go Die and Okwase. have four years. In fact, the artist himself is my favorite. What's the meaning of that? Amber Kaske Samana. Uh, yo, I was recording and then it just came. Amber Kaske Samana, it means absolutely nothing, honestly speaking. What does that mean? Uh, which language is that? It's not a language. It's like <laughs> <laughs> it's a vibe. You know, you're recording and you're just giving vibes, yeah. and then something just comes. And it's just and I and I instead of me to cut it, I forgot I left it in the song, and I sent it to um, Cube to mix. He's he's the one who mixes every song. Cube, Cube, yeah. Oh, I, I was I was with him a few days ago. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's a Dakuman. Yeah, Dakuman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cube, yeah, yeah. Cool, guy, cool, cool guy, cool guy, very cool guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's working on a song. Um, George Adu Jr. is producing. Oh, it. nice, nice. Yeah. One of the best mixers. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's really good. Um, and then he forgot and he left it inside. He thought it was away because he doesn't, he doesn't understand my language. And when it came out, I left it and I was like, okay, cool, let's just keep this bomb back. Mm. Case. I'm wow. like, yeah. Yeah. I Benny Dog Weather says, uh, well, Lassie does legendary music, not just a regular type of songs. Proud I Benny, keep it up yourself. Uh, yeah, Nana Protocol says, and please just imagine Walasi and Lakon of BB Niger collabo. Mm. Oraku says, Andy, for me, Walasi best collaboration ever is him and Kojo Q Joe on the yeah. For My Brothers album. I don't know, but it unlocks my tear every time I listen. Now, Percy says, Andy, I'm loving the interview with Wallace. He's such a great talent, and please tell him to keep up with the good work. I love him so much. Amandola Kweku says, Good morning, Mr. Andy Wallace. He's just creative and talented. Tell him I said I should, uh, he should keep it up. Kweku, Scanti, Kweku Sparrow says, Wow, Wallace, very unique talent there. Bosodos, they ask him about the NDC using a song. How far has he gone with that issue? So, Chalon Tobo. Okay. <laughs> Once he has asked, let's, <laughs> let's get there. I wanted that to be my next question, but uh, since it's on, let's mm -hmm. do it. Um, I, I we are still talking. Um, we are still negotiating. They are still talking. Yeah, and going. going. And easy. <laughs> they get cash. Yeah, yeah still, oh, they get cash. We are still negotiating and um, back and forth, paperwork and all that. We just wanted to be very professional, but they've been very respectful and and responding nicely to our our wants and. <laughs> and they've accepted um, their mistake and um, they are willing and they are actually doing something about it so we are still talking about it but how did you hear about it anyway oh i was i was i think i was in the studio and drum roll called me and he was like yo 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 charlie black NEC, you're listening for the manifesto like hey and he sent me hey. Hey, now I'm Call drum roll. He did that. He did the office there. Call him come right now. I did. He, he got snitch on NDC. <laughs> Today, no. Hey, drum roll. No, he's a friend. He's losing job. No, he's, no, he's a friend. <laughs> he did beg you. He did beg you. He's a friend. And he was like, yo, yo, yo. Uh, yes, it is. And then I think in Chin Chim, uh, also, who mm -hmm. uh, was in the studio with him, he was like, yeah, yeah, be true, be true. And I went to check it out. And I was like, yo, Charlie, you guys. We beg you, just do the necessary um, thing because Charlie. We too. No, what, what did you say in the video? <laughs> I you, said because I was in the studio <laughs> when my producer sent me. A, I remember Hagla sent me a link that yo check it out. I'm like what? Say Charlie, see, see your boy, Wala. <laughs> say what about him, Charlie? Like and see people go touch the boy way. <laughs> you know, you know, you know, be comfortable. <laughs> uh, I was like Charlie, we be Charlie. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Like. Let's check. But were all. you rude in the in the? Oh no, I was very nice, mm -hmm. um, very nice. I was like, oh, you know what to do, you know, like, and I was very honest too. Um, people don't like to be honest, and this this is the thing. When you're honest, it means you are rude. Um, <laughs> um, look, let's let's take a look at our disciplines in Ghana, you know, um, from all the white color jobs and all the blue color jobs. There are not necessarily um, systems in place for all these white color jobs, actors producers and all this you know that kind of thing you, you going for a loan from the bank is even difficult because you don't ha you are not getting monthly salaries from companies and all that as our systems are it's like takashi for be wild mm -hmm. before you go make money you have 
and then you 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 do takashi you, do, you make what then you two and you that you are in your white color job <laughs> and that you are making all the necessary money fine and every two you come take one at in the use and free you know tell me you know be it's not it's not nice mm. at least oh tell Charlie you won't do this thing then you give me something and that's what that's all I said I think is and I think if we don't and if other artists and musicians don't do the same because they feel like their their mouth is in the pockets of some of these people we will always be suffering like this mm. You are not the only person that's a musician. There are so many young people out there who are musicians, and if we don't stand up and they and they don't respect us and pay us for what is what we are worth, it will keep going and it will keep going and we'll always be begging them and sucking up to them and you know being scared of them and and it's not it's not cool because we also add up to the country. Mm. We are doing look look people are listening to us right now. Mm. You know we also add up. Entertainment is very important in 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 every industry or every country. And so we also add up equally. We are equally as important, and and therefore, if we are not treated as 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 such, we we have all the rights to voice out and say, "Oh, please do the necessary um, wirement." You know. So how much <laughs> the wirement? <laughs> <laughs> uh, how much are we talking about here? Oh, it's my manager was discussing with them, so I don't know. I don't know. Hasn't he communicated to you? He didn't tell me. Okay, so he, okay, so he comes to you and says, "Charlie." <laughs> five hundred. Oh, <laughs> I trust my manager. So anything he says. I eh, so truly, they gave him five hundred. Then he come to you, eh, tell I'll you, say, say yeah, hey, five hundred. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll trust him. I trust him so much. So you go take him. I go take him. I'll five for her. Ah, I go take him. Meanwhile, they recording in the studio alone. <laughs> <laughs> but the way I know my manager. On the club now, I'm blessing it. Oh no, no. So, so on the real, how much do you want? <laughs> Let me the ten thousand million I bet you ten thousand million dollars ten dollars billion pounds ten million thousand ten million thousand dollars pounds why why with the guy there the the short guy that says hundred billion thousand hundred million thousand hundred million thousand pounds hundred million thousand pounds the dollars in that account okay let's continue I make raw medicine says. Well, I say it's too dope. I swear that hundred percent track with manifest is too much wicked. And please ask him about his recent copyright issue with the NDC, and he's still following the case, or he's forgetting about it. The African says, and if a strong man gets song with well, I see on his STNLP, yeah. dude did some crazy hook on that song. Yeah. This guy's crazy talent. Please, can I? Why can I get the chant song? It's on the man. Is it man and God or God? Yeah, the man and the God. Man and the yeah, God. Yeah, uh, you can get it and on Uptown, iTunes, mm. Spotify, everywhere. Uptown is a Ghanaian platform actually. That's right. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Original Slice says, and the COVID has brought things to stand still. I wish you push this album when things cool down. Mm-hmm. Africa alone can't have him. He belongs to the world and he's gonna is gonna write a new music history. Wow, that's good. Uh this is my prayer and it, I hope it comes sooner. Kwekwana says <laughs> is your name. This Wala album by Walasi should have won the album of the year. What a production. My favorite is Okwasia. <laughs> okay. Ghanaian Pride says, Tom Walasi is a great act in Chale. Apojoba family day in back. God bless his vibe and talent. Uh, we'll get into knowing him much more uh, very soon. Calvin underscore Melvin says, Andy, the first time I listened to Walasi, I felt that passion of music. He really inspires me. But Andy, please, I'd like him to do a collaboration with AI. I want to feel that. F- hey, Charlie. <laughs> but I think you, you guys have been on one song. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. That's the trick. That's trick, yeah. Trick song, yeah. Mm-hmm. Then it's from Macho says, and they tell Walassi that Togolese, they like, oh, Togolese, they like his songs well. Last yeah. year, December, I visited Togo, and everybody they use to play his songs on their radio stations. And they ask him if he has ever been there before or play shows for uh, for them. Have you? No, I haven't, but we are planning on next year. But your songs are there. Yeah, next year we're going there. Is it because of the Ever vibe? Yeah, I think it's because of the Ever vibe. Um uh, it's it's good it's good in all the francophone countries most of them okay. because you find most of the the Arab people over there um, yeah so yeah I think that's why do you I'm, speak French Benin. no please <laughs> no I try so but hard. apart from do you speak any other African language no please no other Afri- African language as in Ghana no African away Af- from no 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 no, no 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 I have no I don't mm-hmm. no I don't okay DJ Theosi says uh, Andy okay I, I read I read that one ah. Uh, or say more than they say waska. Or any of us are such a unique art. Uh if you Tom Brown says, my man. Okay. Ted Kwanza says, Well, I mean, what's up? 
Honorable Abedi Kwadasu Kumasi says, Enjoying live and clear at Big Joe Shoes near Kwadasu Union Market. One of my favorite songs for the album is Foko. In 2017, he, he tweeted, Walami, uh, Walami, I beg, make you no know, use your credit. V votes give me for VGMA. <laughs> I'll I, I go organize some shows this year. Save the credits, money, buy tickets. Thank you. This matter, you go carry camera, you do what? Eh? Uh, but it be true. <laughs> mm -hmm. eh? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it be true. So you didn't want VGMA? No, no, no that, that's not what I said. You see, I said that, you know, the thing is, we all know how the thing is, it works, you know. Um, and... You know when you are nominated fresh like that, fresh act, you come fresh. Where somebody there inside, a person has done a lot of work. You do you know by all means that person is winning. Get them hand. So we we make like once if you the cook bank, we get condo then <laughs> <laughs> So we will not say we be there, you know the condo. So I not say next time we go win. So I tell them say Charlie, the one of them will take by the credits there, and then come on from Brad show because the best show be. And that was my first wall of face. I was scared that. Like the people who won't come and my fans who say they don't have money and all that. So I was like, Charlie, then can I have better credits than come here? I'm going to find two tickets. I'm going to brush. I'm going to scan it. I'm going to find next album. Is it bad? Oh, no. Uh huh. No. If you know, just as he said, yeah. you know your worth. You know yeah. your stand. Mm -hmm. down there. Okay, well, last he says, and I've been wanting to ask, well, I say this question for a long time. Some couple of musicians in Volta claim. He doesn't want to work with them. Please ask him why. And which <laughs> artist is he willing to work willing to work with? With from the Volta region apart from Adam and Stone Boy. Um, um what's his name? I think Camido, I want to work with Camido. He's really good. A brutal. He's a brutal artist. Mm -hmm. Um there's one guy, uh I forgot he's a rapper. There are two rappers I want to work with. The name the name they're escaping. One is dark and one is fair. They'll be Americans or oh, be Akra Akranic. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Oh, Votar oh okay, Votarians. Okay, Votarians. Okay. Yeah, I, 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 the names the names have escaped me. Um, mm. And people who oh, will say ah, is it our boy? Uh, what's the name? The guy from Abbott City. Real MC. Real MC. Yeah, yeah, yeah Real, Real MC. MC. Real yeah, MC. Yeah, yeah. That's um, my artist, yeah, man. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of them I like. I would like to work with. Um, and also, Charlie, um, when it comes to collaborating to Charlie, it's not everybody that you can, I can collaborate with. Sometimes they send it, I, I don't vibe with a song, okay. I, and, and it's about vibe. I don't want to come and spoil somebody's song. If you can't do it, you can't do it. The mm -hmm. fact that I'm talented doesn't mean I can do everything, you know. Sometimes you enter someone's circle, and the kind of song they're doing, you don't, you, you can't really, like, execute your your perfection on it as much as other songs. Mm -hmm. So if they send it and I tell them, oh, this one not be vibe for them, bossy, you know, won't work with them. But Charlie, the thing, if the vibe not there, how the song will be, right? Uh -huh. And I want the thing to be dope. So keep sending until it's dope. Because I've, I've I've reached out to a lot of people to who they said, oh, it's not a vibe, and then you understand because you understand how music works. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, listeners, uh, we'll get to know more about Lassie. I mean, his family, his life how he got here. Uh, but first, let me tell you about Vodafone. Uh, they are the reason Showbiz Review is on. Uh, they're saying that uh, they, they are a network that care about you so much so that they do amazing things for you. I'm talking about Vodafone Cash dropping all charges when you send money to all network. Yep, you heard right. It costs nothing, absolutely nothing when you send money via Vodafone Cash to our network. Just send any amount, as many times as you want, to any network and pay zero charges on the money sent. So go ahead. Make payments, show your love, make contributions, send money, all you want via Vodafone Cash to our network for free. Dial star 110 to send cash for free. Ready? Now, Franco Trading Enterprise. They say some unscrupulous persons are using their Facebook account to defraud innocent citizenry on Facebook. For online transactions, kindly use the official or authentic Franco Trading Facebook account, which has 100,000 likes. Or get on their website, www.francotrading.com. That's it. And your phone will be delivered right at your doorstep. Now, Franco Trading, they also stock genuine Samsung, Nokia, iPhones, Franco TVs, well, with the TVs, they have digital and satellite with ultra panels, among others. They have laptops, 
tablets, printers, etc. Et uh, Locate the head office at Adamaka overseas the Roxy Cinema or call them on 0246 422 or 0546 133 Franco Trading, still, still, phone papa pa if he chale. I'm very sure you've heard of uh I'm very sure you've heard of Troy Steel. Troy Steel Roofing Company Limited. I mean, if you are building and you don't contact Troy Steel Roofing Company Limited, how do you want the building to even stand? You need it to be uh long lasting, right? You need it to be stronger and you need it to look good in the eyes of people. Even if, yeah, everlasting. Even if you're doing uh what they call secret roofing. You still want the very best. Try Steel Roofing Company Limited it can be found opposite Mile 11 Cemetery off Accra Kaswa Road. Well, that's where the headquarters is. Uh, their first choice uh, when it comes to uh, quality and affordable color roofing sheets. They have standard sheets and long span roofing sheets, which include transparent fiber sheets, IDT, IBR, and circular. Uh, they have alu zinc, aluminum, galvanized steel, and fiberglass used in their productions. Guess what? Their warranty is 20 years. 20! Hey. Yes, 20. You know, he said five years or 10 years or 20. Well, so you go use uh, even if you get a pinch or you have every you. hole, they'll come and do it or replace it with another. Why don't you go to them? Please call them on 0302-850-802. 0302-850-802. Now, we are all big football fans, but there are some other sports... That, well, we all love, like tennis, basketball, golf, hockey. Luckily, Betway Mobile and online sports betting has introduced sports, casino games, bet games, and more on their platform for us to bet on. From football to roulette to esports to horse racing, now we can bet, win, and get paid instantly via mobile money or EFT to your bank. Visit www.betway.com.gh to play today. Remember, bet responsibly, no under 18, Betway for the love of the game. Betway is regulated by the Gaming Commission of Ghana. Music, dear, some way, ho. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. Your music. So that's your new song. Yep. Come out. Yep. And we have an EP coming out. Um, Again? Yeah, uh, we have an EP coming out. Me and Drumroll. This October. Um, oh, yeah. Dramon is working on it. Yeah. Producing the whole thing. Producing the whole thing. It's um, six songs. Mm. Called The Deals. The Deals? Yeah, Deals, Deals. D-I-O-S. Oh, The Deals. Yeah, Deals. D-I-O-S. Mm. D-I-O-S. Uh, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Um, yeah, it's a it's a joint thing. So, it's me and Dramon. And I want to be working with producers these days. I feel um, ever since I did the album. Is, is it because the live bands are expensive? No, 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 no. I'll go back to live band. My okay. every album will definitely be on the live band. Mm-hmm. Um, ever since I did a, the album with um, Senku, I feel like music. We the musicians, we cannot sing without the beat, and the beat makers also need the musicians. And I feel like it's an equal, um, <laughs> um, how do you call it, collaboration. Therefore, henceforth, I think most of my songs will be, you know, Walasi end instead of. Well, I see this, you know, mm-hmm. and then the producer's name is there because I feel like they all need and we all need that um, attention and and shine because they are also equally important in, in the production of the music. Have you worked with any Nigerian yet? I've worked with um, Files, the bad guy. That's not out yet. Um, I've worked with uh, Show Them Camp. Um, I think I think that's it. Yeah. You know, you sound a bit like Brimo. Yeah, 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 yeah Brian, a lot of people. He came, I think he came, he came to GH, me, him, Manifest, we're hanging out. Mm. Um, yeah, um, we are cool, but we haven't gone to that space mm. yet. Yeah, mm. yeah. L- let's get to know you much more. <laughs> Parents, okay, background. Yeah, background. Uh, you, you've mentioned your, uh, your affiliation, <laughs> <laughs> ever nothing. Yeah, where specifically? Not, not, um, okay, so my dad, my dad was from Takare. Okay, hey, um, really? Yeah. <laughs> man of different backgrounds. <laughs> so I was born in Takare. Mm. Uh, my mom was in Takare, but what, the moment I was born, I was brought to 
um, Accra because she wasn't staying in Takare. Mm. Um, so I didn't get a chance to like learn the fancy <laughs> Um, at a very young age, even before I was a year old, I think I came to Accra, stayed with my grandparents mm. uh, my whole life, and it was an airway home. My grandparents were both airways. So I grew up in an airway home um, with my grandfather, my grandmother, and my aunties, and my uncle, my cousins. Um, <coughs> it was quite a huge um, house, so everybody, like, it's like a family house, uh, mm. extended family. Uh, we didn't have any music musician in the house, in mm. the family, no. Um, so I did not, I wasn't affiliated to any music growing up. I was, I didn't even think I would do music. I think it was after high school, I was home for a year and it was a little boring because you have to wait for a year before you go mm. to school. And I just like, I was listening to YFM and then they were playing a little song and I kept listening to radio and, like, and then I was like, oh, Charlie, me too, this time I'm I was wondering like, how did they produce the song? Like, how did they make <laughs> sound? Like it was, it baffled me. So I went online and I went to the cafe back, like, back then. <laughs> and I went to find, and then there was one thing called um, FL, and I called a friend. <laughs> Footy and it was, loops. Yeah, it was like FL, like, okay, cool, cool, cool. And I went to download it. I found a system unit. I think it was a Pentium 2 or 3 back then. And that's when I started learning production. Um, and then there was one guy in our neighborhood called Bulldozer, and he taught me some few things, reverb and all. I didn't even know <laughs> reverb and <laughs> <laughs> echo, and, you know. Okay. And then he taught me all those things. And, and yeah, and I was producing for fun, um, mm -hmm. doing it, listening to it myself. And until I went to TTU and then I met Kwame X and Bajimba I, some Rasta guy, and they were like, oh, yo, this is nice, this is nice. I think you should, you should, you know, put it out, let people hear it. I'm like, okay, cool. And then Kwame X linked me to my first team, Supreme Rights, and then we came to Accra, they La Paz, and we started doing some, I know this, we went to find AMP, and then we <laughs> <laughs> because uh, we, we didn't know how to connect the things. And for a year, we struggled with recording and mixing, especially mixing. The sound was bad. Okay. And that's when we met Cube, and Cube changed our lives. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've been working with him in a long while. A very long time. I think, I think we were one of the first people he mixed his um, album. Um, I think, Makwe. Yeah. You, you people were the trials. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were the trials, and, and then he he mixed my first album, and then it went well. Hammerheaded. My first head is they, they were all like who is this guy, who is this guy. That was the first album. And that's that's the album that actually got me all the buzz and then the you know, it was mm -hmm. a quiet buzz, but it was a good buzz for me because it got the attention of the people I admired and it got the attention of the music people, um, instead of the you know, just just, just the fans. But growing up, which songs were you listening to? That's the thing. When growing up I wasn't listening to songs. I wasn't at all. At all. Like I wasn't a music I was always painting, drawing, or sculpting. It was it was art. But where where's where that from? The, the art part. I don't even know because the family, everybody be book, 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 book. Yeah. Yeah, everybody be book. Like, everybody like book. Once they're reading, you'll be forced to hey, read. Book, book. <laughs> <laughs> they, 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 they speak blair. Yeah, they speak blair. <laughs> they play the, my grandma pitch you. They like blair, vocabs. Mm. My grandpa was Before like, I can see yeah, it. he was he was a, an officer. He was in, and he was a DVLA officer. Okay. So he let me big man for the DVLA inside. So, in the every car house where they speak key or they speak hey, it's either Trouble error or you. English. <laughs> so if I speak error or English, so mm. the house they be error, 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 error. You know, instead if I remember, they didn't like church, my grandpa. But my grandmother did every Sunday we are going to church. We okay. had a suitcase where you fold your church things and put it inside. <laughs> if you wear that church dress, you are dead. You know, so you go to church every special. Sunday, special. We we're Catholics too, so like okay. it was strict. Um are you still Catholic? Yeah, I, once in a while I go. But once in a while? Yeah, once in a while. But the <laughs> funny thing is, you know, our parents, my grandparents were funny because, you know, when it's Sunday and you don't go to church, like, it's a problem. Okay. But when it's Saturday or Friday and they're traveling to their, their hometown, you know, they go and they come back and say, oh, uh, um, our people are saying there are some people doing things and then they, kept, they start giving you some traditional stories <laughs> and then some juju juju stories. Okay. I'm like, ah, what is wrong with you, Paul? You're confusing us. Are you... Today, church, <laughs> today tomorrow. Church, tomorrow, you start telling us about <laughs> some juju stories and things. What are you trying to do? And then I didn't get it then, but when I grew up, I understood that, you know, that's who they are. That's where they came from. You know, they came from the, the village and they came to Accra to struggle. And my grandfather was hardworking. He was learning hard and he got himself... In the, in the academy, you know, the police academy. And okay. he, he was very smart, one of the smartest ones. He, he they, they, they took him out of the country, a few of them, and he was one of them. And so he worked his off, you know, <laughs> to get to get to where he is. And he doesn't forget where he's coming from, you know, that kind of thing. And I'm glad that I grew up in a family that respected 
both um you know um, types of religions and all that so it made me grow the understanding of respecting both people and still living with them in peace and mm-hmm. harmony yeah mm-hmm. yeah i see uh but, but your hair don't don't they oh no no no, no. hey my grandmother if i cut my hair she's angry huh? yeah, my grandmother yeah she doesn't like it when i was young my grandma used to grow my hair and then she would do it punk long <laughs> and then um, when it's like weekends and holidays she plait it and do it rasta or she oh yeah yeah she likes she like to play with my hair so how about she, your parents oh my parents didn't mind my parents too didn't mind they didn't mind at all mm. um they believed in um common sense than um looking like you are you are sensible <laughs> yeah, they want you to to be sensible and and they believe that that is going to take you far because when you speak you sound sensible you know because people look sensible but when they speak they don't look like what they, <laughs> they, 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 they don't sound like what they look like. Mm. Um, so they believed in that you have to be sensible and you have to respect all people irrespective of what they believe in or the discipline they find themselves in. I see. We'll soon end. L- yeah. Let's talk about how you met Manifest. Manifest manager called me, called my manager back then, Mani Benizato, and he was like, yo, we heard your album and it's, and it's great. We want to meet you. We want to meet you. You should come around come around the studio and I went to the studio and my first was there and I must say the the manager was more excited to meet me than <laughs> than the, <laughs> than the than manifest yeah because I think um the manager understood Ewe more he okay. speaks Ewe so he he was he understood the, like the album more. I think it connected to him mm. a bit more than than it did to manifest and he was like yo this is wild and after putting manifest he said hey like my manager they like you step fast mm-hmm. uh, you know and then that's when um he introduced me to he was working on his album that back then um nowhere cool right yeah that's when he was working on that and we worked on two songs right away on the album and and it was it was amazing and he added it to the album right. and ever right. since the vibe was good you know like the energy was good the way he, i liked the way he spoke and i like his direction um you know he didn't look like he he didn't discriminate or whatsoever. He respected me, the like the same way I respected him, and I just liked the vibe. You know, there wasn't mm-hmm. any I'll be boss to pass you or like he be kiddy bend down and kiss my feet kind of thing. <laughs> you know, it was like you know, we are all human beings, and That's then right. he he was t- teaching me things, and I was humble enough to listen. And I admired that kind of um, humility from him, mm-hmm. and and I think that's what made me st- get st- get stuck with him. Right, I see. Um, you. <laughs> Someone tweeted something. I can't even find the tweet. So that Yvonne Nelson has been speaking fondly of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Why well, you and I was up? No, Charlie. She did like my musical. She fought for my music. We, I'm glad that people like this in our industry, you know, people of these calibers are falling for the music because um, once that happens, you understand that your music is universal. Mm. Um, it's not um, about, okay, because this one way they catch fire, so you for hope on them and it's hard for people to express the music they like there are so many people who are in this industry who love some kind of music or some people's music but it's hard for them to express and say oh i like this music because they realize that oh everybody is liking this mm-hmm. and if i go and say that i like this and i'll sound weird or i'll look like i'm not part of the you know the bars or the wave so I'm, I'm, i was glad when people like that were you know saying okay they love my music it made me feel okay people actually do um love my music and she has a great following um also she's working with um hafiz and um blaze the cameraman the camera guy mm. yeah the guy who worked with easy and blaze the ghana number one mm. wedding guy mm. one who shot the video for sakodia mm. they started a new production company where they shoot music videos and um, i think next year or next two years they'll be shooting they'll be shooting films okay. and as we know have movies two movies already on next place fi- um, fixers and you know mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They have, so they are Sensitive. yeah since it is so they are fo- they are focusing on shooting music videos and and that's where they shot the commerce music videos on youtube go and check it out um also so so, so henceforth you you realize that they'll start shooting a lot of music videos and they'll be entering into uh, movies and mm-hmm. by the time you realize we'll have Boom. movies on Netflix and all that. So yeah, I think she's been very supportive. Uh, have you ever music. dated any any industry person? No, please. But you're you're not married. No, please. Why? why? W- wouldn't you Wouldn't you want <laughs> to have anything to do with an industry person? I mean, I would. I would want to if it's if Who? it's if it's positive for me. Who? 
cool. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't I have to get to know the person before. <laughs> so I, can't, I can't just mention. You know, <laughs> okay, so you don't have eye for you don't have eyes for anyone yet. I have eyes for Nana Kunedu. Who's Nana Kunedu? Oh, Ajimawale's wife. When I was growing up, she was ah. my she was my crush. Former first lady. Yeah. Hey. But now, now, yeah, it is gone. Hey, well, the crush is gone. You had a crush on Nana Kunedu Ajimawale. Yes, when I was growing up, I thought she was very intelligent. Okay, good this day, yeah. Did you hear what I see? He had eyes for the Nakuna Dodge by Rollins when he was growing up. Yo, somebody whose grandma is a Catholic, eh? Catholic nun. Eh? <laughs> Small boy on, 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 the, on the first lady. <laughs> but you know why? Why? How old are you, Alasi? <laughs> I'm 29. I'm 30. You never saw, hey. you never saw Rollins in school, Dita. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Yeah, it be true. It be true. You go fit go at man. Yeah, Nineteen eighty. In, in the eighties <laughs> way. That's why it was in my head. Yeah. Careful, careful. You, you, you crash there. Your head. Six, but everybody they rush. They do something before, before you die. die. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know, you know. A lot of people still have some, some fear for that woman. Yeah. You know, recently I was on a flight with her to London, and even with same flight home, I was like, hey. Why <laughs> the woman? Why is she the spy on me or what? <laughs> it, it, it was amazing how we we crashed going and crashed coming back, and Charlie people see him hello, then they pass like ish. You no go fear. Hey, you go fear. <laughs> Before you wife. Before you wife. You know be small. Charlie, we are ending it. Alright, Charlie. Thank, thank you, thank you. So, thank so, you for so, me. The, so, come out is out now. Yes, Have you shot the video for it yet? Yes, we. It's already out. The video is already out on YouTube. Uh, yeah, on YouTube and. And MTV base and and and, and Foresight and and I want to touch on the the Walla Fest again on seventh mm-hmm. November, Alliance Frances. This is the fourth edition of Walla Fest, and we are happy that uh, we are still continuing this festival. Say bring and make here to fair, make we. Yeah, we do. We, after here, no, we such come. a nice thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah we did come, we did come, we did come. Has oh, Mark, you know, go support. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, I so see. Well, I, well, I see. Well, I first. Yeah, uh, yeah. So make you guys come. Thank yeah, you. We guys support for anything you yeah, for. Thank, That's our channel. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you guys for having me. Oh, I'm watching yeah. the video on YouTube now. You invite as before. You are asking me if I'm supposed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we invite you. We invite you. Okay, you know, invite him. I don't tell you to invite him last year. Yeah. Me. Oh, what? Say invite. Last year. You, you invite who? Maybe he came and he didn't, he didn't get see it. it. Yeah, maybe Max he didn't get it. Comes yeah, we're a big man. No, 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 I won't let this end yet. <laughs> <laughs> interview has ended. The interview has ended. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, I see the <laughs> run go. I see the <laughs> run go. <laughs> oh, Charlie, I'm, I'm, watch, I'm, watch, I'm watching your video. Oh, it's I, nice. I left it there. Oh, good, good. Hey, well, I see who's that beautiful lady in the video? Uh, some girl, view, some Takari girl. Hey, that girl, she be. This is Pits.